Hi, and welcome to video number 116. This video is on percentage and expressing a quantity as a percentage of another. So the keywords I've got for you are expressing, percent and quantity. If you're expressing something, you're writing it in a particular way. Um, percent means out of 100, uh, per means out of and cent means 100, and quantity is an amount of something. So to express a quantity as a percentage of another quantity, all you need to do is write the first quantity as the numerator uh, of a fraction and the second quantity as the denominator of a fraction. Then you're just going to multiply by 100. Simple as that. So sometimes you're easily able to make the denominator uh, of the fraction 100 uh, and then the percent is just sitting on top of that because percent means out of 100. So if you've got a fraction that is out of 100, the percent is the thing that's on top. Uh, so number one, we've got to write 16 pounds as a percentage of 50. This is one we can do without a calculator because you pop the 16, that's the first quantity, out of 50. Okay, and then we want it as a percentage. So that's going to be equal to something out of 100. Okay, and that's going to be 32 because all I've done is double 50 and double 16. Okay, so that means that we've got 32% because we were able to make it 100 on the bottom. Uh, 3 grams of percentage of 20, same thing, 3 out of 20 can be made into out of 100 or something out of 100. So you multiply by 5 and you multiply by 5, so 15, 15% is what that one will be. It's basically just turning fractions into um, percentages using that method. There's a, a video on that in the number section. And writing 18 centimetres as a percentage of 25, again another one that we're able to do without a calculator because you're 18 out of 25. All, right, all you have to do is multiply by 4 to make it 100 on the bottom. So you multiply by 4, it's going to be 40 plus 32, uh, which is 72. So there we go, 72%. All right, and just in case you're wondering what I was doing there, I just did 18 times by 4, I did 10 times by 4, and 8 times by 4, and added the answers together. Okay, um, so that's that one. Number two, Wazza gets £30 from his nan. He's told to give £5 to his sister. Poor old Wazza doesn't get to keep it all. What percentage of the £30 does he give to his sister? So, it's the same thing, right? He gets £30, told to give £5 to his sister, right? So, we're not necessarily writing the first number in the question there as the numerator, because that's that one, all right? So he's got to give five pounds to his sister. It's a contextual problem. So five out of 30 pounds has gone to his sister. What percentage does he give to his sister? That's going to help us work it out. Now, we can't make 30 nicely into uh, 100, right? But we can make it at 10, right? But that means we have to divide by three, right? And if we divide by three, we're getting five thirds, right? Which is not nice. It's not the nicest thing, right? But we can deal with that, all right, without a calculator. It is possible to do that, right? Because that's one and two thirds, right? Uh, and that's out of 10, right? And if you know what two thirds is, you know what it's 0.6 recurring as a decimal. Okay, so that's 1.6 recurring as a decimal out of 10, all right? And then what we can do is multiply by 100. So that is, um, uh, sorry, multiply by 10 to make it out of 100. So you multiply by 10 to make it out of 100, you multiply by 10, you get 16.6 recurring percent out of 100. So he has given 16.6 recurring percent of the 30 pounds to his sister. That's the five pounds out of the 30 pounds. All right, I hope that makes sense. The first bit's easy, isn't it? Five pound out of 30 pound has gone to his sister. And then we have to deal with understanding fractions a little bit. Um, You'd probably be able to use a calculator for a question like that, but I thought we'd do it do it with and see how you get on with it. All right. Um, let's use calculate for the third one though. Let's have a look at that one. So lots of stuff going on here. Uh, Javez has done four tests. He got 63 out of 90 in Spanish. I'm going to write this one down. Spanish equals 63 out of 90. Um, he got 16 out of 20 in English. So English equals 16 out of 20. Um, he's got uh, 36 out of 55 in business. So B, I know all this information is in there. All right. But it is easier just to kind of write it out again, just to satisfy your own mind, really. Um, and make your zeros look like zeros and not look like, like sixes. Because that one looked like a little bit like a six. So business is 36 out of 55. 
and then the maths is equal to 34 out of 40 right now there is a way we could do this um, just with the fractions but it's probably easier to turn them into percentages and whenever you turn something into a percentage top divided by bottom times 100 okay so we're going to do that and we're going to work out the percentage for each one of these all right you got 63 um, divided by 90 equals and then multiply that by 100 so you got 70 percent on his spanish test okay we've got to work out what subjects uh write the subjects in ascending order of how well he did and then we've got to show our work so this is our working that we're showing here english is 16 out of 20 so 16 show you can do it as a fraction as well just press the fraction button there 16 out of 20 equals four fifths multiplied by 100 0.8 times by 100 80% so he's done better in English than he did in Spanish still did pretty well in both 36 out of 55 times by 100 is 65.45 uh, we'll keep the 45 recurring percent there just in case don't just round things off um, in case the other answer is quite close to it and then 34 out of 40 And then times by 100. There we go, 85% uh, percent in math. So he is better at math than anything else. Good lad. So uh, in ascending order, that means uh, from smallest to largest, right? So uh, you're going to say business. And then, because uh, that's the, the lowest score. Then we got Spanish. Then we got English. And then last of all, can't spell English. And then last of all, we've got maths. There we go. And that's that question dealt with. All right. It's just uh, uh, expressing a quantity as a percentage of another. Um, and it's not that difficult to do. Turn it into a fraction, multiply by 100. Thank you very much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, share, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Uh, please continue to improve your maths. Click the link in the description to practice.